Hey, Perry and Joni, how you guys doing today? Hello, Andrew, how are you? How are you? <laughs> Excellent, thank you. This is a beautiful coach. What's the story? Well, this is our third coach. We we bought this a year ago, so we've got a year experience with it now, and uh, just coming to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Liberty with Frank and all the family. So how long have you been RVing for? We have been RVing for a little over three years. So we're really new to what you see out here with the people that are represented. We were boaters for several years, and after boating, uh, we just made the decision with a little dog. It's easier it's so to... Much easier to go and give shore leave uh, when you're on shore. <laughs> Absolutely. Now, we're in a 2014 with the Dean Locks paint job. This really is a great looking coach. What made you decide to buy a Liberty coach and what made you decide to buy this particular coach? A couple things. He's always been a nut for Liberty. When we came um, and kind of realized that we wanted to have a Prevo chassis, he, he fell in love with the Liberty from day one. And uh, when we started, we started off in 03 Royale and one dipped our toe in it to see if we wanted to do this and ended up like Mary and I were like, we love this. So we continued. So we traded pretty quickly and got a 2005 Liberty, Liberty. and realized we like it more than we thought. And then here we are. <laughs> the, the 05 just showed us a little bit about the product, mm -hmm. uh, the heritage, um, the support. And that's what really tipped the scales. Uh, it didn't hurt that we met Dean Laux on a trip, uh, on. trip south early on and just wanted some of his work, wanted the Liberty, wanted the brand. And, uh, and that's how we ended up here. This was available. And when we talked to uh, our sales rep, Ron, he said, you know, this has been cared for meticulously, meticulously. and you, you really can't find a better used coach. And so, uh, we have found that his words were true. This has been a really, it's it's a really clean coach. coach. They took care of us. They're continuing to take care of us, and we couldn't be happier. Yeah. yeah, and I actually met you guys right after you took delivery randomly at the World Equestrian Center in Ocala. I think that was probably your that first few trip. trip. First yeah. time driving the coach, we left here and went straight to Ocala. Yeah, so I, I already got the full tour, which we're going to give the folks, folks in a second, but how has the first year been with this coach? It has been flawless. I mean, we um, we just we've taken not a lot of trips, but uh, of the little outings and weekend uh, trips that we've we've been on. It has uh, it has performed well. It's smooth. It rides well. It's well balanced. Um, the fuel economy is good, and you know, with with the way fuel prices are going up now, uh, the Volvo engines are really delivering better economy than the Series 60. And the Series 60s are, are great engines. They're still great engines, but. Um, this is just a little bit better on the road with fuel, fuel mileage. In a moment, I want to ask you is some advice that you might have for people that are thinking about getting an RV, but you think you could show us a little tour around the uh, the coach here? Sure, I think I'll let Joni do the tour. <laughs> okay, well, She's the tour guy. And, and, and <laughs> this peanut. is really, Peanut's uh, <laughs> the one in charge. So, yeah. You got it. So, I love the colors in here, but what, what all made you choose this particular coach? This is a two-slide Keswick. Uh, 2014 uh, we were big on bus air that was the one thing that we wanted we wanted to be able to go and and I just for comfort's sake and, and, and to peace for, of mind and to we have where we store it we have to be very mindful of the height because we put it down into a garage and so we both were very fearful about getting roof airs if that was gonna be problematic but we fixed our issue so I think we could go to a roof air now but <laughs> we like the bus air the bus air when you're rolling and it's hot She'll cool down like that, and that it's nice. So we both love it. Yeah, yeah, we, it's and the two slide. I mean, it's just it gives you plenty of space, right. um, and it's fairly simple. You know, fewer systems and fewer devices and fewer me mechanisms to worry about. But um, it she works well. So now compared to your O5, what's some of the stuff that this has that your O5 didn't have? For one was the uh, bench here, which we both love. It's a great workstation. We had before the crest, I think they call it the crescent. Crescent, uh-huh. Uh, which is also nice, but it, for us, it wasn't near as user-friendly because Perry and I both need our computers and we're always, this is just, it's. I like this setup the best. Driving this versus driving the 05, what's, uh, <laughs> what's the difference? This drives like a very large luxury car. You know, the 05 was more like a sports car. A little quicker, a little tighter feeling on the road, uh, but this has a lot more softness to its ride, a lot more um, 
just a lot softer, more relaxed feel. And your 05 was an XL2 or an H3? It was an XL2. Okay. Yeah, so it was a stainless, and uh, we uh, we just wanted to see. I think for us, just getting the little extra hi height in the base, mm -hmm. a little storage. Uh, Joni carries a lot of stuff. She doesn't look like a big person, but she carries a lot of things. Uh, so, right? that's, that's what we do. Absolutely. Yeah. Shoes and you name it. So uh, this gives you a little more base storage. And, you know, we didn't need, you know, someone your height needs a little more, maybe a little height, more height inside. But the H's have plenty of height. It's just the XL's have just a little more height than this. Yeah, and I can see you're standing inside the slide out right now yeah. and, and plenty of room. I, I'm pretty tall too, but I still got plenty of room in here. I'm noticing all these little details that I got to give the folks on YouTube a close up. I love the warm colors and the woodwork and leather on the ceiling here. It just. The yeah, Liberty Coach just the, design. Just the molding and how everything's fit. I, I'm a fit big fan of wood, and so when we, the, actually, the putts that we first went on when we were in, uh, went and saw that first pop up rally, I don't believe it was this bus, but I actually walked in on Denise. I accidentally, she was in the back, and I, but it was a fairly similar coach, and it had all this woodwork, and I'm like, oh, Perry, this is, this is what I like. And so here we are. We have, I mean, not the, not the one they were in, but Very the similar. wood. It's yeah. either your thing or it's not. It's what I like. It's just warm and it just, I this, love it. This has a very popular bath and a half floor plan, which we can show you. Yeah, so in 2014, you definitely made a smart purchase <laughs> yeah. because these are hot right now. This is, so this, this is the floor plan. So this is our half bath and, uh, you know, just plenty of space in here to get ready. Um, it's a beautiful plenty of woodwork. storage around the, uh, under the mirrors, behind the mirrors. And uh, just uh, act, and it's accessible both ways. If, you know, if you shut this door here, uh, like if you had guests on on the coach, um, you can close this off. And so then, you know, your guest needs to use the restroom. They can get in. You know, if someone's asleep, you know, you're not going to bother them. But uh, just just a really functional layout. And, and these air doors are so quiet. Listen to this. You just just. You can't Silent. even hear it. Yeah. I mean, when you open and close that, and you mind if I open and close this just because, yeah. I mean, when you open and close this, you can just quality. Just starting now, yeah. was your 05 Liberty Coach that same build quality? or? Oh, absolutely. Yes, absolutely. It had, it, yeah, it just, we couldn't, it, everything on that was wonderful. It was just, you know, we wanted to go a little newer, get a, a few of yeah, the more good. modern systems. Uh, this one, you know, the app and that you can run from your phone and just there's just all kinds of benefits from that age difference. That's nine years, you know. So absolutely. Uh, and so uh, now is this a triple slide or a double slide? Double slide. Really? See, I'm here. I'll let you. Sorry. I'll, yeah, you're fine. Yeah. See, I'm I'm really surprised because there's just I mean, both of you have plenty of room in here, and I've got to just back up to give folks the perspective. This is where the air door is, and is that a king size bed? King size bed. King size bed, bath and a half. I think Ron. <laughs> I think Ron's gonna have a list of people ready to sell this coach if you ever do want to let go of it. There's nothing to buy. We have nothing. <laughs> yeah. we, we we'd have to go to something else, and everyone else is happy with theirs too. So we we don't have anything to go to. Yeah, yeah. The space it feels good, and you know, a lot of the a lot of the coaches when they're closed, you know, you really have a hard time getting around. And you can get around this bed when we're closed up, but. Uh, Tuck and roll you have to do. Like you it. have to roll a little bit, but you know it, it works for us. And uh, uh, I think that the the bath and a half is what sold us, and it gives you just so many options. You know, getting ready, we can both get ready in different areas. Um, it, it works well. Works well for us. This is such a popular floor plan. You know, understandably with that huge rear shower with the bench in there and just plenty of room. And I know. You guys are staying in the coach, so I don't want to. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, it's it's. Everyone needs to know it's lived in right now. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Uh, it, it usually doesn't sit no, like this when it's in the barn. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you know, the, I'll tell you a little bit about Liberty and their support for you. Uh, we were ready, getting ready to leave um, to come on this trip, and um, we got to the coach, and the light, the uh, the pit, the switch panels were all dark, and so. Um, I didn't know what to do, you know. I, I'm like, well, I'm sure that I've done something wrong or it's operator error. So I got on the phone with Liberty, made a couple phone calls. Alex, Frank's son, called me back. He diagnosed the problem. He logged into the coach, downloaded new software. 
we were up and running in 10 right. minutes. 10 minutes. Really? Yes. Wow. And this was on a Sunday night at 7 o'clock. Now, I'm not saying everyone should call Alex. <laughs> He'll probably won't appreciate that, but that's the support you get. We are there 24-7 for customers no matter what. We will provide whatever help that we can if we have to travel somewhere, ship a part out, or be there ourselves that very day to work on a bus. It's never a question, and it's never a matter of, you know, can we help a customer? It's how can we do that, and when possible can we get that done? That made us just feel a little bit, little bit better about our purchase and the family and the support we get. Now we were just talking about the paint job on this coach. The original paint job and then the paint job that we're seeing now, there was some stuff done to it or? Yes, uh, the previous owner, when he purchased the coach, he was he thought the paint job was great, but he wanted to add a little more detail and, and bring it a little more modern to what was going on in, uh, currently in production. And so he had Dean, uh, come in and they, they put a lot more ghosting into the into the stripes or into the big uh, tan areas of the coach and uh, just made a whole different look. Uh, if you see the before and after, it just really brought this coach up. And, you know, Dean is such a talent in the work he does. And what he did was just took, took the canvas he had and he made something really remarkable with it. Now, I've got to ask you, there's a lot of folks out on YouTube that are considering purchasing an RV or considering a Liberty coach, is there any advice that you have for someone that's thinking about getting into RVing or purchasing a Liberty coach? What would your advice be, honey? Well, if you're serious about it, there's nothing like them. Um, a Liberty coach, the people, the community, what they, what you get here, it's, it's only what, I mean, it's Liberty. Yeah. And um, I'm proud to own one and if they are interested i think they definitely need to because like just our situation when we had we had a, a problem it didn't work i mean as simple as the technology that are in these buses of course are it's just unbelievable that they can do that from afar yeah. and fix and we're not we're not knocking any other brand absolutely not. we're just saying our experience with liberty has been remarkable yes and uh you know if you're going to buy a coach get started because the inventory is low you want to get something you want to get in the system because i don't believe that we're going to see what we saw you know in the last couple of years where there was plenty of inventory i think it's going to be tight for the coming years and uh you know they don't build but so many of these a year so if you're looking for something get out kick tires and and meet a good yeah. salesperson and get to know them and and talk to people like andrew and other people that are in the that are in the business and they'll, they'll steer you the right direction and there's another thing that is a very, um, we were talking, Perry and I, I'm like, the family, because it's family owned, there's a lineage here so that when Frank wants to retire, hopefully a long time from now, he has children that are in this business that are going to carry this. And so Liberty's going to be around a very long time. This is our 50 year anniversary. There's going to be 50 more and 50 more. I mean, because this family is carrying this and that is a very, as a buyer, if you're going to buy in, it's they're not settling. going anywhere. Yeah. Very they're here. They're here to comforting. stay. Yeah, the Connick Center family is extremely passionate, and it's been awesome to see the torch passed along through right. the family. We're here at the Liberty Coach 50th anniversary. How has this rally been? Oh, man. It's off the chain. It is it's great. It's off the chain. Top, you know, top notch, everything done to perfection. We're pampered. We're catered to. And it's just been a, it, it has been a really, really good time. Yes. Uh, the people that we've met here, that, okay. that the owners, but the Conic Cedar family and everything that he's put together has been really good for this. Mm -hmm. um, had some good stories with, with Frank Sr. and Jean. Mm -hmm. um, got to meet Kurt and Kim, which we yes. had not met before. And just amazing you know, what they do and, and building these things. And so just, it's been a really it, good eye-opening experience. Yes. I know you guys have another party to get to right now. So I <laughs> great a, a speakeasy party this evening, I believe. So yeah. greatly appreciate you taking the time to share this valuable information with myself and the folks out on YouTube. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there on YouTube subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Thank you, Andrew. <laughs> Thank have a good you. Day. <laughs>